As adults, we often see the world through rose-tinted lenses, or in some instances are completely blinkered to the ongoings around us. For children, that's a different case entirely. Through the Eyes of a Child is a 13-part series of 10-minute programs that gives us an insight into how the children think and what their hopes are for the future. In South Africa, as much as Sarajevo, the West Bank, children are often the first to suffer during the uncertainties of a country going through change and shedding its skin. In their opinion, we are responsible for their actions in later life, and unlike us, they neither hide behind agendas nor fancy phrases to tell us what they think. Honesty at this age is not an option, it's the only road they travel. What you're about to hear and see in these programs are the children's stories. We're merely acting as a vehicle to what they say. Our series starts in South Africa and takes us from Kayalicha, a squatter settlement in the Cape, to Ventersdorp, an Afrikaner community with deep-seated values. But first, to Easterus, and what's described as a coloured community, and through the eyes of 11-year-old Vrinik Lucas. I would like to see that violence must come to an end in South Africa and that politicians must stop fighting. If politicians are fighting, it affects young people in a certain way and maybe when they grew up they just want to fight like that politician. This is the home of 11-year-old Rene Klukas, but it could easily be the home to anyone living in East West a town known by the locals as a land of milk and honey, when able to look out for each other. So Veronique, growing up in this kind of environment, shouldn't have any concerns. But this is a conservative community, comfortable in their set ways. Locals say their lifestyle is now under threat as South Africa undergoes changes. The town's roughly 10 minutes drive from Pretoria, and some 40,000 people live here. It's been an ideal place for many to grow up and spend their entire lives. Eastris is a very peace and quiet place actually and people get well along with one another. Last week that peace was shattered. Police intervened in a protest march by disgruntled local ratepayers. It had been the second such demonstration in a year. The first ended peacefully. Last week on Monday um, the people strike and they said they were paying too much for lights and for water and they couldn't pay 800 or so just for lights and water. And when they march at the civic centre, the police um, was trying to stop them and they didn't stop. And they said um, that they must shoot some tear gas. The people were right, because we can't pay 800 for lights and water. And I don't think um, that the police must have shot at them. The people were right and the police were right. Because they were right, the people, if they kept on um, marching and breaking the state equipment, it could cause the government millions of rand to replace it. Standards and Easterers are well drawn up. As ardent churchgoers, they believe you must love thy neighbour. Loving everyone, though, doesn't necessarily mean living near them. But some traditional values look set to be dropped. My life long I've been amongst my own people, my coloured people, although we've got white friends, we've got Bantu friends, we've got all kinds of friends. I feel I want to stay among my own people because I don't want to stay in a white area because I'm not white. I'll tell you, Nikki, as I can see what type of a child she is, she'll be amongst everybody. I think um, all the blacks, white and coloreds must mix. The new South Africa means that it doesn't matter what color you are because color doesn't matter anymore. It's what inside you, what you are, what kind of a person you are. Who the well-known politicians are, Vrunik has no problem with. That's not surprising. She's described by teachers and family as a bright young woman. She has a grasp of politics and says she's aware of the Nobel laureate, President de Klerk, and Mr. Nelson Mandela are. The Nobel Peace Prize is when um, look at F. F. W. the Clerk. He made peace. He made this new South Africa actually. Then he got a prize for it. 
And when asked why ANC leader Mr Mandela got a prize, Mandela got a prize. I don't know. Veronique is the eldest of two girls. She lives with her mother and grandmother, whilst her father lives nearby. Her mother, Charmaine, gives her a wide range of responsibilities. Baking is also Veronique's hobby. Veronique is a very, very wonderful child, I must say it. And she's a very honest little daughter. You are always found her with the books, busy, busy start studying or busy doing homework. On weekends, I go and help my grandmother until I want to bake. Veronique wishes to become a medical doctor in future. Her aunt recognizes, apart from Afrikaans, then she'll have to learn another language. Kijk ons kan ook je zwart taal zo het benadeel je eindelijk in de mate, want je kan niet kijk maar wat de inzichtrij mensen kan niet recht communiceren. Maar nu om heel dag saam te wees, gaan ze met nu die talen, die verschillende talen met u leren. Of alles is dit in zwart taal. I would like to speak a black language because. Sometimes when you are in a train and there are sitting black people next to you, um, then they are talking about you and you don't even realize it. Despite an impending language barrier, Renique sees little reason to leave her immediate surroundings and the comfort of her home. That view, however, may have to be turned on its head in years to come when she readies herself for university life in one of the big cities. One area, though, she's unlikely to become familiar with, despite it only being three minutes' drive away, is an area called Nantes, which she describes as being harsher than her perceived view of the cities themselves. But today, Veronique has agreed to show us there. Her main reason for not going to Nantes is the presence of gangs. The previous day, a gang fight broke out there. Het is een verschil in die opzicht dat die socio-economische uh, omstandigheden, je weet, dat is niet hetzelfde nie. En dat is ook bij meer um, gangfacts, je weet, mensen bekleiden terwijl het hier meer rustiger is. There is too much hate around this place. Now it's the time where the fights begin. Hier in Nantes, there are too much gangsters and people don't care about each other. And only certain people, I would say, care for each other. It's a very rough place and maybe like we're just driving now, we can come up across a fight and then they will shoot us also. Well, they're very cruel actually. Um, sometimes when they fight here, um, like Dulai and all the people, sometimes when they fight here and the police are looking for them, they come and help hide in certain houses here so that the police Night time and Veronique is back at home. She settles down with mum to watch television. She's particular at the level of violence shown on the box and how it may affect young people. Well, I think they mustn't show so much violence on TV because it could influence somebody's mind and sometimes you go, going, you must you are going out and say, I'm going to kill that person. Then you find it very interesting. Then you want to kill more and more people. Yeah, lately on TV, just, you, you just see violence on TV. And I think there is more beauty parts in South Africa that they can actually show us. They can try and uh, get away with this too much violence on TV. The name Easterus means first rest. It came about after Veronique's folks and others left the cosmopolitan town in the 60s to settle here. One day, Veronique may have to get up and go to her next stop. But for now, despite her worries, she sees a hopeful future for her town and country alike. We know that on the 22nd of April there will be a vote. I think it's going to be a good future. This is a bit tricky for me. Why, does, why do they have to change our flag? Okay, I've try, been trying to change my friends' attitudes towards South Africa um, by telling them that it isn't really that a bad place. 
uh, I wouldn't lack anything hope uh, to change. I just like it to stay the same. You know when the people pollute, I don't like them. But I would be honest, I don't have my booty series like it all. As what I do all the need to be I said in there. We just want peace. No more fighting, no more nothing. If you fly over cities like Bombay or Madras or Mauritius, countries like Mauritius, then uh, you see that it isn't well laid out. But if you fly over Johannesburg, the, it's well set out. And I think if the politicians make the best use of it, it would be a good thing.